So there I was with barbecue sauce on my titties. I should have known. Oh, we started. Hello, welcome to another episode of Gaming with Shala. I'm Pixel Cheesecake. And I'm still Shala. And we got a very specific game from the UK. Thank you to... I can't read this. Upside down. Rare Waves for sending it over through. <laughs> nice. I like that cute little dude. The Unreal Engine has been responsible for some of the coolest shit recently. My personal favorite's still going to be the Spyro Trilogy, and no one can change my mind about that. Well, whenever I think of uh, the Unreal Engine, I always think of late texture poppins. You got your Mary Poppins, and you got your late texture poppins. What? <laughs> Have you ever played uh, Borderlands 2? Yes. You know that scene, there's a one scene where there's a close-up of the, the bandit. Yep. And his text here, like, pops in, like, a minute too late. Yep. And this is, uh, when by the, with the same guy who wrote the, uh, Daganrotha games. Oh, fun. Yep. Master Detective Arc. Archives Rainbow. I uh, I bought this because one of my favorite streamers has been playing it. So is does this streamer have the zoo? You know the big old over the shoulder boulder holders, the huge magumba gunkalos. Yes. I have like seven more of those, but they just vacated my head when you said yes. Gosh darn it. Which streamer have you been watching? Uh, Michaela Walls. Rate her when she goes live. Say the pixel cheesecake sent you. And summon the void! Summon the void for all eternity! Oh, I can summon a void right now. Just pull my finger. <laughs> uh, I, I say, well, I say the void because on her streams, that's that's uh, whenever she rever she uh, calls uh, giving her money like the void, uh, is summoning sort of like how the. Uh, McAvoy Brothers have a, like, money zone. Yeah. Money void. Would that just be a bank? Definitely green dot, if so. Just using the back, the back rooms to store all your cash. Just grab from the top. Just put, make sure it's on a pallet and grab from the top. Moisture seeps through. Okay. But on to the video game. Was that a reference to another game? Uh, the billboard said Crescent Katana. It may have been. Was, didn't we play Zero Katana? That was the thing that I totally meant to say. Wait, that page like three seconds ago. That explained to her. <laughs> that just explained where Tinkle came from. Select your difficulty. 
troublesome and adorable. So I'm assuming lenient is the easiest setting. Yeah. Her face would you should be giving an indication. Well, right now I'm just kind of playing with her, like a you do it with a cat and a laser pointer. Oh, uh, like Mario's head in Mario 64. I'm gonna go with adorable. Oh, you sure about that? Don't say I didn't warn you. That was the hardest difficulty oh. setting one, isn't it? You wanna know what difficulty that is? The one you selected is how difficult yours truly will be on you. I'll be as difficult with you as you wish, so I hope you're ready. Though, to be honest, it's all the same no matter what you pick. Oh. Need a troublesome, adorable partner. After all, so. Who would you rather ready? have, her or Whisper? Do you start for real? Uh, Do you seriously want to start? Whisper for. Seriously. Yeah, okay, watch. Her. If you say don't start, it would probably be like too bad. Here we go. I was thinking of a patient. I might be picked huh. up. Not to your least easier earbuds. Yeah. Because oh. I was, could hear it clearly. I think your chief headphones died. No, they were like $3. Eh, whatever. Apple screwing over its fan base again, and they still want more. Well, now they want you to buy their expensive ass earbuds. Um. Yep. Apparently, they have Babblefish on them, though. No, wait, that's the Android ones. They can translate over 40 languages. Mm. Nail salons are gonna be interesting, though. Like,. Do you know how many nail salons I go to? No, I mean like... There's a... You know the... The... Figure... You know, polish on my figure. That's... That was incidental. Sure. Incidental. Yes. Okay, Google. Define incidental. Come Go on. Google just defined. Apparently it's a noun. Um, and stuck between a start for reels or don't start. Oh, start for reels will be nice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, she can't handle it. Too fast for her. I am speed. I am fox. Ha oh, ha hey. Wait, what's that? Over there. Nothing. Wait, no, that was a mouse. Oh ha ha ha. Yeah. Toy yeah. I am speed. They haven't made a Yokai Watch Academy game for the Switch. I have not watched a single bit of that, but that's just like. Apparently, they go full Digimon with childlike humor. But, like, super serious Japanese mythical beings. Yeah. And then they base what I consider Digivolve 
and I will not apologize for it. Well, you're our our resident uh, Yokai Watch fan. And you're our resident Opai Watch fan. But don't you? Uh. <laughs> What's going on? I should have said watch Opai instead of. Huh? Where am eh. I? Is what it is. Okay, those books woke you up. I'm just gonna throw a mirror to now. Who? What? That would so be his Keyblade if he were a Keyblade wielder. What would? The key on the bottom right corner. Uh, it would be an axe though. Just very fanciful axe. Uh, I thought the Keyblades were bludgeoning weapons since they're basically just Fancy old style keys. Weirdly enough, they're rounded, but they have infinite sharp edges. Mm -hmm. Like Do some. Have, what was it called? Amnesia? Like some sort of. Ma oh. Mandelbrite fractal. Okay. Like, no matter which way you swing it, or look at it, there's always a sharp part. Nice. And I was thinking there's the, uh, the college humor thing about the people eating the Tide Pods. And one of the jokes was a burger that's actually a razor. Uh, all right, calm down. Take a Get me some shaving cream. If it's not smooth, it's your ass. Wow, actually that is really smooth. Yeah, our boy here's lost. I can't remember anything. Down and lost that, his would, that would be some kick ass shoes though. Why can't I remember? Inside your pocket. She's a yokai, isn't she? Technically. Anything thicker than those textbooks would be the complete collection of interspecies monster reviewer. Get it? Thick. But um, world detective organization resources. Something tells me the hyena woman would be very, very popular nowadays. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. Oh, his name's Co his last name's Coco Head. That's my name. He's Coco. a Coco boy. Coco. That right. That's He's right. a Capybara. I finally remember. My name is 
This is why anime characters aren't allowed to wear lipstick. But what's this about a world detective organization? So many people it's would be too far bricked up for their own good. If that lady is beautiful. That's a guy. Am that I guy detective? is handsome. That's a woman. That cat. That cat's a cute. That's a dog. I what is everything? Like a detective's clothes. Seems I'm supposed to get on a train, or at least I think so. Master detectives? Am I one of them? Could there be someone who knows me on the train? Here's the ticket. Let's check the schedule. Hey, it's almost time. Well, I should get on that train. I'll find out more about myself if I meet someone who knows me. Attention! Before rushing off to the train, let's start with basic tools, walk around, and explore the wheel. Mm -hmm. oh, oh yeah, I recommend moving the camera around to explore the surroundings. Oh. Places with an ex examination marker can be expected. Make sure to investigate areas of interest. Oh, write this down. You can fast forward and auto advance through dialogue. Cinematics can be skipped. Gotta stay in that detective mindset. Detective points, DP, can be <laughs> earned by conducting detective activities like investigation and gathering info. Sure hope you got all that down. That's the better uh, points acronym compared to the I've seen. Which I is, uh, Stuff like Capcom points. Earning DP increases the detective rank. Maybe something cool will happen when the rank goes up. Don't you forget! <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm going to try but fail not to laugh at the thought of DP going up. Make us. Something in the back, but I can't get through with all the little things in the way. Stuff might fall if I try to move it. I bet I better not go back there. We can look back there with the camera. Why are there so many umbrellas? Why are there, are there so many umbrellas? No way. We will Lost items. Temporary storage. Wait, is he actually saying it? Yeah. Ah. Yay! We don't have to do voice acting. We can just chew chew out the scenery. Yep. Bags, hats, and books. A lot of stuff has been placed here. A toy robot? It looks sturdy. The label says lost items. Well, who loses a, a Buddhist statue at a train station? Lost might mean confiscated. This is... I think you can level up with just the stuff in the room. But I'm not a thousand percent on that. Hmm? There are many different things placed haphazardly on the shelf. They don't seem to be organized in any way. Maybe they're going to be sold at a flea market? Try moving the camera around, see if there's any point to interest that you don't see. See through the basics. I think we've. I think I've got all the stuff in here. Huh. Ah. And you. I see myself. 
I'm still not used to this. Uh. An easy peasy level. Easy peasy upgrade. I get it. The place where I was sleeping was in fact... Stations lost and found. That's right. I've been sleeping in a stations lost and found section. But why was I sleeping here? Did I faint? Or was I attacked? If so, then who did it? Attention passengers departing this station direct to Kanai board on the Amaterasu Express. Please board immediately. You know this game was made in the 2020s because people are wearing masks. I have to get on that train. I I a, or a, no, it is a Japanese game, so they tend to be more health, public health conscious. Yep. You have at least closed the door behind you, Coco Boy. Well, to be fair, Japan and Germany and other countries are like, I care about the safety of others. In other countries, not like those places, it, like America or India, it's like, give her bad if. Oh, uh, we we we're twenty minutes into this. I can I can swear. In places like America and India, it's like fuck everybody but me, everybody but me. Oh, it in time. Yeah, it's definitely America is definitely. Fuck it. I don't care if Grandma dies. I ain't gonna stop partying. No, it's the grandmas who didn't give a fuck. Underground bingo club. There's a game that we should try playing if it ever comes on to Switch. What? Automatic? The so the character's name is Amaterasu. Uh, the main character's name is Amaterasu. He's known for a fighting game. Wait, for a fighting game? He's from a fighting game. Anytime someone knocks him out, they get Michael Vick points, or is that just a uh, weird thing that happens in my school? Wait. Pretty sure I have it. Now boarding the blue line <laughs> to the red dot. <laughs> this train has five cars. It will operate non stop to its destination. There you go. What's its name? Found. Found my copy of Okami HD. Oh boy, that sounds great. Car two. Restrooms are available in car one and car five. Yeah, so you're in a bit of emergency if you have to go and you're in car three. I'm sure that flea on Amaterasu does. So there are five cars. This must be car one at the front. I'd better find the other detectives and meet up with them. If we use this... Notebook menu has features and info useful for investigations. Whenever it gets updated, it will be marked with a new 
markers. In case files, you can see an outline of the ongoing case and next objective. Oh, this stuff's vital. Yeah. You definitely want to remember this. And that's a wrap. Yeah, this is uh, usual talking about. There's a sink and toilet inside. This must be the restroom. There's no one inside it right Ace now. Ace Detective! Is there a thing where you can look at every mirror? Mm -hmm. Or am I losing it? No. Detectives running outside like our imaginary friend. Yep. How to play Elder Scrolls games in chronological order. I see a clean looking bed. This is probably the infirmary. It's locked, but there's no one inside. I uh, saw a thing where it's like... It says I see a driver's seat in there, but no one's inside. If you... If you were to be uh, Isekai to one, would you pick Skyrim or Morrowind? I'm gonna have to say Morrowind on that one. People are gonna lambast me, but... Wait. Uh. The... there's a map next to the door. Ah. No. The map. Coco Boy. The it's map. The map of the train. The first and last cars can control the train. The rest are passenger cars. I think I. My. What I would want to know is if, uh. If I have to play the uh, the base original version of the game, or if I have, or if I can play the live in the modded version. There's a warning on the door. Please keep your yes. hands clear of the doors. For your safety, play, uh, the doors will remain locked while the train is in motion. Play uh, either game in modern times. You. You basically end, most people just end up modding like a thousand mods into it. It won't open. I guess that's obvious. And this is the front car. The nose of the train is just beyond it. If it opens, I could fall off. It's basically a a uh, code of Theseus situation. Nice. That's when huh? I looked at everything. Alright. It's 
says main control room A. But the door's locked. It won't open. There's a driver's seat inside, but no one's there. The machine appears to be functioning. That must be the automatic operation device. The driver's seat's on both sides of the train. I think that means they can go in either direction. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I kind of sounded like a real detective there. Now we can find me. Huh? Someone's there. I heard a voice behind the door. So these are like kids. Well, one of them's definitely not a kid. Like this is like Master Detective High School. Excuse me, are you with the World Detective Organization? You are, right? You're Master Detectives, aren't you? Like you got caught by a bag. What's the meaning of this? You got a lot of nerve posing as a master detective. A time right here, right now. Wait, you Look, wait, please hear me out. Oh, right. Uh, I have proof that I'm a master detective. Some something. A letter okay. from the okay. World Detective Organization. Okay. It's real. There's no mistake about it. Didn't even notice what? that he has hat ears. I think they're just looks part like of the hat because I see something that looks like ears next that. to his neck. Right. Unless he has like two sets of ears. Which, really like a movie, which can't decide how many ears the. Oh. oh. No, that was in game. Yep. A uh, movie happened? which can't decide how many ears the animals would have. Amnesia. Why is this some kind of dark descent? Makes me a werewolf, but give it extra everything. Extra eyes? Yes. Extra ears? Yes. Extra everything. That's why they had to fix certain parts of the anatomy because they didn't give the werewolves in the roomy part of the teaser trailer. They had to redo the whole thing because they gave those werewolves extra... But first, do you know what the World Protective Organization is all about? Um, a little bit? I think I remember a little. Or not. Guess not. So you called yourself a member without even knowing. Yes. Sorry. Well, I suppose it's a master detective's duty to shepherd the lost. Very well. I'll tell you. Maybe you'll regain your memories after hearing what I have to say. Uh, thank you. A poor little lost cocoa boy. Now we have uh, five 
people to talk to. Who do you think I'm going to talk to first? The old man. Wow. No, I, I know. You have to talk to him in order. Listen up. The World Detective Organization is... An extra-legal, extra-privileged organization devoted to eradicating the world's unsolved mysteries. Their branches exist throughout the world, and their investigations are handled by master detectives. As of now, there are roughly 1,000 master detectives in the WD bone. All have powers specializing in investigative work. Powers? They are supernatural their standard to abilities. investigation, known as forensic fortes. People who develop talents such as clairvoyant or mind reading, which they train at the which organization. Which power would you want? Powers which aid in their investigations. Those who manage yeah. to gain a forte are recognized as master detectives and given a detective Yeah, team. like, would you like clairvoyance? Means, if I would love detective, clairvoyance, personally. Say so on your Even if it's the original Psychonauts detective level of it. Just it's an identification go card. into the mind of Put a mental audience. eye in the middle of your forehead so I know I how you see me. If you don't have a detective deed, uh, you ain't so one of us. Go into the mind of the Even culprit. If you got one, I suspect it's fake anyway. Mind reading is just like oh, reading the basic thoughts. Yeah. Um, pardon me. He seems to be the only one accused of being an imposter. But how about the rest of you? If you require he has some sort of proof, and the same would apply to everyone here. The hell did you just say? She's right. Everyone here has just met for the first time. Naturally, we would doubt one another. Huh? First time? So, you guys don't know each other? Master detectives rarely meet together. We each travel the world on our own. Solving cases. I've never seen so many gathered together for a case like this. We thought all of the summoned members had shown up and were about to start introductions. Then you walked in. I see. Well, let's start the introductions. We'll include the Tardy as well. What? You still want to do introductions? With the imposter too? It's vital for us to ascertain each of our identities moving forward. <laughs> All the yep. more reason due to this perplexing circumstance. Perplexing circumstance? What does he mean by that? Now, let's begin. Okay, now we're now we can free talk. Young man. There's no need to feel down. I said, young man. Come here. Stand before me. Why? Huh. Uh, whoa. Huh? What's going on? I'm measuring you. Uh. For just a second, I'll be quick. No, oh, no need to hurry. Thank you. That was quite educational. That outfit fits you well. My <laughs> name is Melanie Goldmine. My home is rather far north from here. Up there is a branch with detectives adept at spiritism. I was also active there as a medium. I think you're tall, not a medium. <laughs> Nothing medium about her. 
Again, what? It's like to a waistline. I can summon the souls of the dead by using my body as a vessel. Summon a soul? Can you summon anyone who has died? Like, for example, the victim of a crime? Yes, of course. But there is one condition. I require the clothes that person wore while they were still alive. Only by wearing their clothes can I summon their soul. Hence why my powers don't work on people smaller than me. Or if the person is far bigger. Overall, the size must match. Ooh. Also, I can't abide outfits with no fashion sense. Filthy, reeking clothes are always out of the question. You can always that bathe after like a preference than a condition. You think... I mean, it has to be like a garment, like, like shirt or pants or outfits or yeah. I don't think uh, something like a ball cap would work. Clothing has a greater surface area seen by other people. Therefore, clothes are an expression of a person's identity and originality. You ever think about how you've never heard of ghosts being naked? No, was that attitude? Because those clothes are a part of their identity. Now that you mention it, that's why, despite your amnesia, I can tell the kind of person you are just by looking at the clothes you wear. Really? Your uniform is undoubtedly an official one supplied by the WDO. And I found it fits you perfectly after measuring your size. I don't think it could possibly belong to someone else. Which means I really am a master detective? Am I one or not? I can't figure it out without my memory coming back to me. That's all I have to say. I'm the medium detective Melanie. Nice to meet you all. Five foot ten women and five foot eleven, uh, five foot ten men and five foot eleven women. Yep, that that's the whole meme. Speaking about memes and culture and being weird, Oregon and New Jersey have something in common now. What? It's illegal to pump your own gas in both states. Yeah. An introduction. Introduce myself. A subjective observation of one's own self image explained objectively. Uh, are you okay? Did I do something that caused you concern? Uh, no, yeah, you'd be a real space. You seem to be having difficulty. In crazy. I was crazy once. They locked really me in a room, a rubber room. room. A rubber room for rats. Rats drive me crazy. I was crazy once. Is there such a thing as a self in the first place? I heard that one yesterday. I was gonna. I was gonna flip it on its head. A room full of spiders in a movie theater. The spiders made me crazy. Poochie Lavender. Love me. So, Lava pigment. <laughs> Continuous fire damage. <laughs> Maybe that could be in Pikmin 5 we we'll get some kind of upgrade stuff. And you can turn the red pigment into Lava pigment. She seems a bit odd. If water pigment and are just super is investigating unsolved mysteries. Lucy Goosey Ice Pigment. Lava Pigment or Super Lucy Goosey Fire Pigment. Depending on the client, I use my forte to see if the transaction party is trustworthy. My forte is known as Audio Aptitude. When I concentrate, I can hear anything from distant whispers, footsteps, and even heartbeats. 
No one is safe to speak of their secrets when I, Uchi, am around. Oh, then did you hear anything suspicious at the station? Maybe we can figure out what happened to me. Unfortunately, unless I focus my efforts on listening, I'm unable to hear things far away. Oh, I see. Constantly listening in on all sounds leads to a sensation of my physical boundaries within reality dissolving away. My already tenuous sense of self starts to vanish, which is why I tend to close my ears unless I'm using my powers. That's valid. With power sure comes at a price. Did she always act in such a strange way? Or did it develop after she obtained her forte? Regardless, she definitely has a distinct air about her. That is all I have to say about myself. <laughs> this part of her seems a bit more normal. Do you think he... Yeah, he probably intentionally saw a bit her skirt or something. Mm -hmm. That's... Yeah. that's what anime logic would define. Yeah, yeah but, uh, Before I talk to someone. Idea. Upgraded Pikmin. Lava. Pik lava. Thunder. Tsunami. Tornado. Gravity. Uh, rock slide. Uh, epidemic. The epidemic one would have the. Uh healers instead of fingers and toes, the, the protein things that would make a, an enemy lose health over time instead of damage. Yeah. So you, you kind of throw them like darts and just boom, boom, do, do, do. I'm Aphex Logan, of the detective branch in the eastern slums. You, know, you may know my more famous twin. <laughs> I know where you're going with it, but go on. He's famous for making music. They call me a master detective now, but I'm originally a broke illegal immigrant. I was a kid. Okay, I was went in a different direction than the one you were thinking. Life. I thought you were going with justice. Yeah. I should have left well enough alone with that local mafiosos. <laughs> Logan Wolverine and there's Aphex Twin, but the necks were cut open. Electronic right in front of uh, me. artist. That's awful. I ran away to protect myself jumped on a ship at the port. I didn't know where the ship was going. That was the moment I threw away my well, he past and my explained home. sad backstory. I'm going to get a ship snack. I slums and did everything I could to survive. I managed to survive until now. Thanks to luck. With my natural talents, I was able to become a detective. But... Give yourself a little sneaky snack, even a little raccoon thing. I'll show no mercy to those who stand in my way. If I can't figure out the difference between the good guys and the baddies, then I just beat up both of them. Now, see, he's got me here still. That's my motto. See? He looks scary. Definitely. That's not all. Hard to chew. I can't share details. Just You got a problem with that, you tiny runts? Not at all. You sure are afraid of a kid. Training. 
first, you'll need to get used to stab wounds. We'll start with an ice pick. Scissors. And a fruit knife. Fruit knife. Don't be shy. Let's play Fruit Ninja. <laughs> we tried that. You forgot the thing. What? We played Fruit Ninja. You said I need healing. I threw bananas at you and... You got fully healed, but that's about it. Tell us a tale, old guy. I am Sange Eraser. I come from a detective agency on the front lines, far from here. I've disguised myself. My real name's Eraserhead. I tried. I grew up from the horse head. But I you may know say. me as the horse head baby. Let the past melt like ice in an evening. <laughs> That's how I live my life. My forte is photography. I can transcribe images from my memory onto electronics. That's all for me. There's no need for any further explanations. There's clearly something extraordinary about him. I think all artists would want to be able to transcribe images from from thought. Just think of a, a thing you wanted to draw. I used to, I used to be able to do that. Not no more, sadly. I'm out of practice. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Zilch Alexander. Yes, we definitely talk to you first. I'm from the Southern Forest Preserve District's detective agency. They call me Nature's Mediator. I love people, nature, and the harmony between them. However, there are times when some would attempt to ruin that harmony. My specialty is in handling those people. Have you heard of the chain of mysterious murders surrounding the dam construction at Souls Lake? Rumor has it that one by one, everyone involved with the dam's construction died. Harvey, oh, Coco had had heard of it. Site. You have already forgotten by it now. It was a once in a century difficult case. Yep. The one who solved it. That's the way. That's the way it goes. There wasn't much to it. That's the name the of the game. Were locals with the who wanted the rights to the dam for themselves. Yep. The strange part is that all 52 villagers were in on it. They all kept their lips so shut to protect the secret. I'll let you figure out what that means. When harmony between man and nature is disrupted, disaster strikes. He ate the. Is one he ate the bad people. Didn't he? Nature's mediator. He does look like a good detective. Although he suspected me, he still gave me a fair chance to explain myself. He looks a bit intense, but maybe he's a good person. I'll describe my forte as well. I'm uncomfortable exposing classified information regarding investigators, Unless there's but some this kind is of an emergency. Motor controlling those ears. My forte is real. animal investigation. I can control animals as I wish and recruit them for my inquiries. Quite He's fitting for the Detective Beastmaster. Though useful in many ways, uh, I only use great. it to gather He's, He goes full craven with it then. As a basic yeah. rule, I can only control You know who Craven is, right? Less intelligent yeah. animals are easier so to Yep. I often use mice. They're the perfect animals for undercover investigations. Unfortunately, I can't show it off right now. 
because there aren't any mice on this train. Not only is he a good detective, but he also has those powers. Bam. He really yeah. is impressive. That <laughs> is his, uh, with love. His gear, naked stick stuff. Oh. Yeah, I got some sun at a place called Typhoon, Texas. Mm. Water park. So, no, I, I didn't use anywhere near enough sunscreen, so I've been trying not to shed in no. after. Yes, I, I find you quite Don't. appealing. Looks like Alec looks like Alexander has something else to say. Poke. Poke. Whoopa! Then went to bed until first fourth grade. I have no idea. Hmm. Oh, young man, are you sure you don't remember? How about the kind of clothes you usually wear, or brands you like? You only inquired about clothing. Maybe you'll remember after a few punches to the head. Stop that. If you knock him out, he won't be able to speak. The perplexing circumstance we faced may have something to do with his memories. That's right, I was wondering about that. What do you mean by perplexing circumstance? Did something happen? Well, something unexpected has occurred on our trip. The number of people is off. The number of people? I, Kuchi, heard from the World Detective Organization that the number of master detectives on the train was... ...precisely five. Five? So we got one person too many. Two on this train. Three. Four. Five. yourself a master detective I was honestly surprised I knew this job wouldn't be easy but there's already a mystery before us <laughs> this is getting exciting it's obvious what's going on there's an imposter among us is it a what it's not me. among us I among us think? among us Contact the WDO and find out. It could be a mistake. It's no use. I can't reach them. There's no signal here. <laughs> Who could she be had a cute phone case. Right, yeah. It's all Sacral nice. Blossom. I'm the most suspicious. Especially with my amnesia in this situation. Could I be the imposter? And I just can't remember? I am the sixth one here. All right, I got it. Hey, since you're all clueless, I'm gonna tell you my extra sharp deduction. You may speak, but allow me. Why would I need your permission? Whatever. Way I see it, the runt here ain't the imposter. Huh? It'd be boring if the most suspicious one is the culprit. The run.
Squad must have been attacked by the real culprit. The memory loss is a side effect of the attack. And the imposter's motive? Why would they attack you? To pretend the, uh, to be a master effects showing off a surprising amount of level heavy heavy thinking. Smoothly, yep. The run suddenly woke up. He got on the train right before it departed. The results stand before us. Obviously, the imposter miscalculated. The run's gotta be tougher than he looks. Oh, that's a surprisingly proper deduction. And I thought you'd be the most useless one here. Why, thank you. In other words, I was knocked out of the station because someone attacked me? Uh, I don't think I've been injured. Uh, my favorite backhanded Excuse compliment. Me. Yeah. My deduction is slightly different. Let's hear it. I'll allow it. Stop acting like we need to get your permission. I suspect that the entire situation is a test, designed by the World Detective Organization. A test? A WDO exam officer has disguised themselves as a member, and is ascertaining our skills here. If that were the case, Yuma here could possibly be the exam officer. Me? An exam officer? <laughs> Bring it on! care if it's WDO or a hitman. If you want to test me, I'll show you what I got. What are you trying to do? For now, I'll check to see if there are other uninvited guests. I wouldn't want any accomplices lurking about. And how are you going to do that? I watch this. him do, do his, uh, his cover. You can also hear heartbeats. Um, Poochie, yep. would it be possible for you to verify what Aphex said is true? Yes. I, Poochie, was contemplating it at the moment. Even if someone is hiding, my audio aptitude is able to detect their breathing. Are you just and playing heartbeats. Pokemon? Shall I try? Healing up yes, some please. Pokemon while I. Listening hey, in on what's with the gloomy little girl? Don't tell me she's motion sick. Yeah, she's using her audio aptitude to check if there are other passengers. Oh, oh really? Well, that's great. Go for it. It'll prove I'm right. Shut. Huh? Shut up, you brain dead idiot. Pardon me. Would you mind quieting down for a bit? I need to concentrate. Hmm. Should be a spicy little tamale. Huh?
She got she got those uh, note beat eyes. Mm-hmm. This sensation. I felt it when Aphex used his powers. Somehow, it feels like I can hear what Poochie hears. Does no one else hear it? What's going on? I finished. I cannot hear the heartbeats of anyone besides the six of us here. Though one could hold their breath, they still cannot stop their heart from beating. In other words, there's no one else on this train. I, Poochie, guarantee Okay, if you have Stoa Platinum. See? Mm -hmm. I told you so. Sorry for calling you gloomier, girl. You know, I'm glad you've confirmed my findings, but aren't our powers kind of the same? I can hear heartbeats from 500 meters away. <laughs> so you're the useless one. Quiet, you catty bitch! <laughs> I got him. Moving on, we've now got proof from two hmm. master detectives. We can say for sure that there are no other passengers. Though one may be a lying imposter, the other's statement can still be trusted. One of them, an imposter? But Aphex and Poochie both use their fortes. I could feel them using their powers, so... I think it's safe to say both are master detectives. Yeah, Coco Boy is special and that he can powers. No yeah. one else seems to have the same see experience. the fortes be used. Why am yep. I the only one? So he can <laughs> sense fortes. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong with you, old man? You gone senile or something? Can you all hear that? The sounds of a running train, the wheels of fate chugging along. In the same way, our fate continues to turn. This train will press on until we reach our destination. No one can get off midway, including the uninvited sixth. Let's discover which of us is the caged bird in here. <laughs> My fading detective spirit is revitalized once again thanks to this burning mystery. Hmm. Not bad. Things are getting interesting. You're joking. What could the imposter even accomplish? Uh, We're all burning mysteries here. And yet we don't know who the fake one is. I've used my power, so obviously I'm the real deal. The gloomy girl detective also passes. She ain't no fake. So, how about the guy blowing smoke, huh? Why don't you go ahead and prove yourself with your forte? How about it, you four-eyed fox detective? As I have already explained, my power involves animals. Without them, I can't use it. So, you're fine being considered a suspect then? I fear you probably you relied on him so wish. much. When hmm. you went along the wall. Without a dead body, I can't use my powers as a medium. Now we've got two suspects. How about you, old man? I don't mind showing off. But it won't clear any suspicions. The sixth uninvited guest could possibly be a traitorous master detective with their own forte. That's true. There's no end to this! Hmm. To hell with it! Everybody line up! I'll deck you one by one! The Jarrow Solution. Got it? The real deal! Yep. Don't pass out in one hit, then you gotta be the imposter! Calm down. Let's do things logically, like the detectives we are. Pardon me. I suggest we investigate this, starting with the motive for the imposter's infiltration. Hmm, the motive. 
One possibility is that it's a test from the World Detective Organization. Are there any others? There are. You may speak. I'll allow it. For the hundredth time, why would they need your permission? The Amaterasu Corporation. Uh, they could be responsible for this. Your reason to harm the whole group. Someone has been tailing me for the past few days. It started after I was first assigned to Kanai Ward. Wherever I went, I could sense the presence of someone in the shadows, but I could never catch them in the act. It was getting annoying, so I tried to bait them out. I walked around town in my underwear, and at last, they revealed themselves. It was a very revealing experience. Hmm? Something the matter? Hmm. <clears throat> Never mind. Continue. I avoid solving problems with violence, so I was unable to apprehend them. However, I saw them escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars with my own eyes. Why would Amaterasu Corp spy on you? Because they don't want Kanai Ward to be investigated. Perhaps this is the same situation. Which is why I think our uninvited sixth guest is a spy from Amaterasu. The spy has only one goal. To disrupt our trip to Kanai Ward. Hence why they are pretending to be a master detective among us. <laughs> among us. So you believe Amaterasu is involved? Not impossible, though your reasoning is somewhat lacking. I do not see how escaping in one of Amaterasu Corporation's cars is proof someone is a company spy. Uh, I've thought of something. Well, that's fair. Let's hear it. Corp. Um, Corp. Excuse me. Corpse. You keep huh. talking about it, but what's Amaterasu Corporation? That sounds like the most kick-ass me? metal band I ever. That too. It's fine. We can teach Yuma as we share uh, information with uh, I saw I saw a poem that was Oh I asked about Kai. I once saw an uh, English poem that was all about how tricky English was. He said that when a Frenchman was showed it, he said that he would rather do six months hard labor than read than read a, a sta uh, stanza from it. Yep. We're heading to Kanai Ward. What does that have to do with Amaterasu Corporation? It's fairly complicated, but Kanai hmm. Ward is essentially an Amaterasu Autonomous Zone. Previously, Kanai Ward was just another regional city. But as it was being developed by Amaterasu, the this city is actually... itself transformed. Kanai Ward Factories, is essentially research the labs and affiliate companies Ward. were built. Ah, I see. The whole place belonged to Amaterasu. As a matter of fact, Kanai Ward is essentially ruled by the Amaterasu Corporation. Political power has no influence there. Since it's so isolated, no one has been traveling to and from Kanai Ward. Isolated? Exactly. Because of that, no information has been getting out. Aside from rumors of unsolved cases. Mind if I have this? This has been going on for years, the but the unified the government has been turning a blind If I ever kill off your stash, I'll buy you more. The Amaterasu Corporation's oh, influence affects not days, just the UG, uh, but the entire world. Off, uh, Amazon. Given the I'll make sure it gets to you the safely. World Detective Organization couldn't wait any longer. I know where they put the fragile stickers. As a result, yeah. master detectives are gathering in Kanai. Yeah. And that's pure speculation. That one, uh, we won't know commercial? the full details until we arrive. I see. Thank you very much.
Nice. Rank up. Like who up? Tarasu Corporation. In short, Amaterasu is a freaking huge company. Like Walmart. Or you see their products like Walmart or Amazon. Daily life. They make everything. For clown penis dot parts. Industrial goods, electronics, pharmaceuticals, everything. Big companies always got dark They chronicle the every Game Grumps joke ever. And they have a whole tab open That's for running detective tags. Funny, huh? Sure, I got it, thanks. And the Amaterasu Express. Speaking of, Just like this the train Orient, is called Orient the Express. Amaterasu Express, isn't it? Yes, the Amaterasu Express is an entirely driverless train developed by the Amaterasu Corporation. <sighs> the WDO made arrangements to prepare it for arrival at Kanai War. I Normally, it has no passenger don't I? for the trip to Kanai yeah. War. But they added I think here, between the two of us here, more of this. It features enough yeah, a lot more of the soda drinking than I. Yeah, I, I have too much of an ungodly, insatiable eldritch horror of the sweet tooth. <laughs> By the way, the windows and doors are completely locked until we arrive. They say it's for our safety. But I feel as though we're stuck in a big, moving coffin. All the sash windows are sealed, so they can't be opened. I, Poochie, confirmed it myself prior to the train's departure. Perhaps these measures were taken to prevent infiltrators or stowaways. Once it's en route, the Amaterasu Express becomes a box that's impossible to enter or exit. If you feel up to it, why don't you take a look around? But you can't access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. Broken? Well, go ahead and see for yourself. Right. Has anything you heard sound familiar? It feels like my first time hearing about any of it. Sorry. I see. It's all right. Just tell us if you do remember anything. Thank you. He seems nice and all, but maybe he's the imposter. Huh? Pride flag Pokemon. You have something warm to drink Which, how many can master. you think of? Although we only seem to have coffee here. Uh, do you drink it black? Or do you need some milk? Trans flags the Sylveon, of course. Shiny two canyons the by Pride Flag. Anyway? I can't tell from the oh, way yeah. you dress. Never mind, well, there's like 20 different yeah. lesbian flags. Have a drink so. to warm yourself up. There's a <sighs> Thank you. mythical cat that's like yellow and black. Uh, if that's neon binary, I don't know what is. I have amnesia and now I'm hearing things. What's happening to me? I wonder if it has something to do with the sixth person. Besides, who is this sixth uninvited guest anyway? I should think about it a bit. Who is the most suspicious person here? Uh, who do you think? Apex? Zilch? Poochie? Zang? Melamit or Yuma? 
If you go with Yuma, does he try and clear his name, or do we go down the entire list? Uh, I don't know. Did, you said you were watching a Let's Play of it. Yes. Not paying too close attention. No. I was mostly listening it, to it since I was doing work hours. Oh, gotcha. I say Zilch is the most suspicious. <laughs> Zilch took on the leadership role immediately. Instead of simply taking charge, what if he was trying to manipulate us? Maybe I've already been manipulated. No matter how much I think about it, we have no proof of anything so far. If I really am a master detective, I could have some useful powers. I wonder if I can somehow remember three what those powers are. The, that are the most suspicious are. Do any good? Uh, Moan, again. I Zilch, and Zagde. Because <laughs> they're the three Jeez, that haven't shown off their powers. Hey, Runt! is gonna show off his powers. What? Zange? Although I am reluctant to do so, I shall demonstrate my forte. You forced my hand. Otherwise, suspicions will continue to mount against me. What's that? Your cell phone? We are thin looking model too. Why? Who doesn't put a case on there? <clears throat> People who are very confident in their holding abilities. <laughs> well, that definitely ain't me. Is it me either? Look to camera. Look to each other. Back to screen. Back there to each other. Again. Back to the I screen. I feel Zonga using his forte. As I've said before, my power is. That's all the one where it's like. I can project my memories said, onto uh, electronic mediums to generate uh, and record. It said footage. that one in three people are the recorded so, uh, would occur so, uh, so attractive. Five ago. Look at Carol. I suppose it must be one in four. So, That's definitely the scene that took place about five minutes ago. I can only record about two to three seconds. Back in my prime, I was able to do ten. So he can purple hermit. Also, basically, his memories fade. Uh -huh, basically. Recorded footage will also fade. Fun. The rule of thumb is that it lasts around yes. forty-eight hours. But by copying it to another device before it fades, so I think, uh, footage can be used as evidence uh, during investigations and in court. Cross the globe, and I'm but pretty sure he has sure to this is photography. It appears like as though you captured the area footage from a hidden the camera. Memories. All you do is doubt everybody. Be constructive for once. Do you hmm. think being suspicious isn't constructive? Don't you believe that the truth lies beyond all suspicion? Yep. A detective's job is to suspect others. I'm hearing things again. My memories haven't returned, and the voices keep getting louder. It's giving me a headache. It's like my own body doesn't belong to me. Young man, are you all right? You don't seem well. I'm sorry. I feel a little dizzy. I believe you should rest. Maybe a nap will help get your memories back. The passenger rooms from car 3 and beyond are all full, so you should use car 1 at the front. 
I believe there's an infirmary in there. It should be easy to monitor from where we're at in the second car. Monitor? You've got some nerve. Will you be all right on your own? Or do you need some cover? Yeah, he's the mind. Stay the mind. Sorry. Huh? Did you say something? No, it's nothing. I'm all right. I can get there by myself. Okay, but one, do you mm. prefer to be tucked in by Melanie? Some, some people just don't get the, those obvious hints, though. shining that means a destination or an investigative object is nearby let's take a closer look around I'll see if I can re-download Starfy onto the 3ds somehow and get you get you the footage see, see if that shows any anything fun yeah <sighs> Cutscene. <laughs> we both have the exact same idea, just like two seconds away from each other. Yep. What? Huh? Whisper is about what that is this size. Thing? But it looks, it so looks more terrible. like ice cream instead of this little Why yeah. am I hearing things? I'm seeing things too? I've completely lost it! Snap out of it! You're my master, aren't you? Master? That's right! We exchanged an intimate secret pact just between us! Huh? What pact? Premarital hand holding. Come on. Take ownership of your actions. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Shinigami. 
This Shinigami versus the Shinigami from One Piece. Who wins that fight? I know it's Hatcher. I don't quite remember which uh, one is the Shinigami from One Piece. Not One Piece, but Death Note. There's, there would be a good real life, real world game. Death Note, the the Death Note game. The, the binding's been destroyed on the Death Note. All the pages are around. You do a personality quiz, find a Shinigami that you can transfer the pages in for bonuses to boost up your health or your ability to find more pages or some shit like that. Hufford? You mean... You finally got it? You offered your own memories. You tossed away your entire past and smashed our fates together. Smash. Smash. what I have amnesia? <laughs> the euphoria from completing our contract made you pass out in that room. Even though you woke up, it took some time for me to take root in you. But I can talk to you now, which makes me happy. That! Which is it? Why would I make a contract with you? Why did I offer my memories? <laughs> Sorry, but I can share the contract details with you. Those are the rules. Could you imagine if the company tried to do that? They would get bankrupt so fucking fast. Yeah. By the way, Master. I mean, that basically happened in the new Little Mermaid. What is it? Two hours have gone by since you passed out. Uh, it's like, ah. Uh, yeah, I get two looks kissed, but I make you forget that you have to get two looks kissed. In, in the original, at least it was explained to her. How will I attract him without my voice? Don't be afraid to... Don't underestimate body language. your feminine wife. Don't be... It's, don't never underestimate the power of... Body, right. I guess they decided that body language wasn't uh, feminist enough in, for the remake. Nice, thank you. Your haunting presence is probably why I felt sick in the first place. Hey, don't blame me. Well, at least we know how to do it. Fast forward to uh, some dialogue. Smoke? What's going on? It's me! How oh, mysterious! What? Weren't you watching over me the whole time? I can't be separated from you. That should be obvious since I'm haunting you. All I saw was your dumb sleeping face in the restroom. I have no clue what happened outside. So what happened here? Hey, look, look! There's smoke coming in through the cracks of the door! Right! Is there a fire? Fire? So it's burning? Burning! Hmm. Hey, now I'm getting excited! Hmm. Excited? <laughs> What's going on? Silch! Silch, please wake up! Silch! There's too much smoke. I, I gotta help! Master, look! 
Shinigami to of course. because you were having perfor performance anxiety. The there are uh, better ways about, of going about it. Look at this body. Checking a pulse on oh, a corpse, you know, charred corpse. Well, mm -hmm. how's our corpse doing? Dead. They're still dead. Without a doubt. Not so kind of charred after all. You really didn't even need to check. Don't be so glum. You had to check the corpse in any case. It's not that. I mean. You want to use it on that human charcoal? If he didn't come back to life, he wouldn't be happy about it. This is... This is medical equipment from the infirmary. I don't know how to use it. But... Even if you did know how to use it, there's no saving someone that crispy. This char guy was charred black before you could get into the room. on the floor. It's on the floor. It looks like it's mostly empty now. Master! You open the lock and put out the fire. That was some quick thinking, Master. And now you can check out the corpse up close and personal. Yeah! Yeah, 
I'm doing the thing again, aren't I? Yep. Yep, I'm as smart as I look. Get uncomfy. And yeah, I'm. Uh, and don't worry, I'm alive. I don't like Melanie. Is this a dream? This has to be a dream, right? Oh, he passed out in the thing. Oh, we got it all resolved. That put something spiky under you, but how would you know that you could sleep on spiky things? <laughs> Please, I want to wake up. I can't take this anymore. You're so pitiful, you know that? Are you sure you're the guy who sold your soul to me? <laughs> what are you anyway? Friend or foe? Maybe try pacing around here. Mm. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Is that the guy who's he keeps doing hypnogogic jerks? <laughs> Don't Wait, mind me. Do I'm the really exist? Maybe this floating thing is just a figment of my imagination. Shut up! You're trapped. bottles around. All of them apparently had high alcohol content. Could Melanie have been set on fire with this? Alcohol is the best way to cook the stems of meat. After all, yeah. <laughs> Investigation to go. Yep. Did you and your oh me 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 me. Oh no, I'm like I'm going full Joe Biden, aren't I? Stop on your feet. I'm good. I'm good. I'm stop pacing. Fine. Can I pull out for one? Such a cruel way to die. What's going on here? Or, or he's just seeing the nightmare scenarios. This is. We got a lot more nightmares to go to. Slowly, flambe with some pricey looking liquor. Huh, not a bad way to go. Says the Shinigami. Who eats souls and flesh like there. Huh? Did it just shake? Yeah. 
important case, important uh, Some detail here. Yeah. What was that? The light went for a moment and came back on. Oh, it got dark outside. Looks like we're in a tunnel. Anyway, shouldn't you be hurrying? You should probably tell the other master detectives, yeah? Right, that's right. Psychological horror slash dot ARG. Yeah. Uh. I feel like if we're just two hey, corpses just lying we around. Need help in the first two cars. Does it look like it? It's a yeah, looking good for the other. Yep. Yeah. Sangay, Gucci, Apex. Anybody? <sighs> no response. I smell a tragedy. This is like the very picture of hell. Hmm. Woohoo! One mystery after another. I can't hold back from all this excitement. Hmm. <laughs> Mm -hmm. We have to find the others right away. It's like, I'm getting excited here. Sometimes I think that, cause like when they, they said that you shouldn't look at uh, blue screens before you uh, go to bed. Mm -hmm. Like the blue oh, light they shit. give off. Maybe oh, that could be a way to fight off sleepiness. Cat ear headphones. Mm. Pussy must have had quite a set. She never took her off her headphones, even in front of people. Right? How rude. Let's not spe speak ill of the dead. I'm sure she had her reasons. One of, her, uh, one of the characters from Heroes was uh, somebody who had uh, great he hearing powers and mm. had uh, always wore her. Sound uh, ear muffins to keep herself from going deaf. This is this big teddy bear might have been if it might have been Poochie's personal belongings. You better be careful, Master. I might suddenly stuck on. Poo hoo hoo hoo. I said poo hoo hoo hoo. Ah uh, ah, uh, nice. <laughs> Took me, took me a second to get that. It's just a teddy bear, as if something strange could happen. Is this Poochie's bed? Maybe there's a weapon for self defense inside. It'd be good for you to check it out. I'm sorry, Poochie. I'm taking a look inside. There's a change of clothes and travel supplies. No weapons or other self-defense items. That's a wash, then. It was sitting there like a treasure chest, so... I was hoping there'd be a rare metal inside. Mm. Rare metal? Why is this happening? Even Poochie. Rare metal? Uh... Master, let's move on if you're done here. There's no time to waste. Right. Where's Zonge? And Apex, too. Come on! Ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. Get in 
investigating. And that's checked out. It's Poochie's corpse. I can barely make out what's left of her face. She doesn't appear to have any external wounds. There's a blanket over her torso. Looks like she was burned when the blanket was set on fire. Yep, it's a corpse. So, however they died, they ended up being burned without putting up a fight. Whose bag is this? Just like how mm -hmm. Pixel can't put up a fight. Oh, it's open. Is it okay for me to look inside? You're a detective. Why even ask? Detectives search people's bags and cupboards all the time. Smashing pots to find what they want is part of the job. That's too much. Smashing pots is all part of being a hero. Notice. World Detective Organization Human Resources. Dear Zilch uh -huh. Alexander, you are hereby dispatched to the special autonomous region of Kanai Ward. Dispatch duration indefinite. Use the enclosed ticket to board the Amaterasu Express to Kanai Ward. Rendezvous with the master detectives on site. Upon arrival, proceed to the Nocturnal Detective Agency, World Detective Organization, Kanai Ward Branch. There, you will receive further instructions. Go forth, proud detectives. Eliminate all mysteries from this world. This is a letter for Zilch, so this must be his bag. The only things inside are work documents, nothing else of note. It's no fun. This is... Silk's clothing. Maybe he's a queen freak. Now that I'm married, so now that he's burnt to a crisp. Zilch. It's a glasses case with animal print on it. There's nothing inside. Mm -hmm. This probably belongs to Zilch. Right. He's the only one on the train wearing glasses after all. Mm. The uh, fancy looking coat and scarf. to come from a winter place. This isn't a passenger room. The sign says backup control room. Wow. It looks like a secret base. Don't you want to destroy these whenever you see them? No. Hmm. There's no one here. So I should go look for help somewhere else. How about you check out that machine over there? Maybe it'll help you figure out what happened. Flick of doom. No, right. Well, it's okay. I won't break fine. it. Yeah. Fine. You just gotta hit this thing, and it'll be good as new. So, can I just let We can last once we get a save point. Oh, I see. I'm picking up shit. What's this machine? There appears to be instructions. Backup control system? The control system automatically manages ele the electricity within the train. When the main power the control system fails, it will switch to the backup system once after so one the second. control system manages the electricity. This one is the backup, not the main one. Hey, what about the file over here? What does it say? It looks like an explanation about autonomous driving. 
The control system will supply electricity as programmed and drive the train. But all train cars on the train have motors that run autonomously. Because of that, it can easily climb steep slopes. Hmm. I guess everything here relies on that control system. So, if you destroy the main and backup control systems, you can stop the train. Right now, the control system is functioning, so the train is still moving with no issues. The monitor displays an operation log, but there's no record that the train has stopped at all. Yeah. Master, while you were sleeping like a log, I never sensed the train stopping either. The doors won't open unless it stops and the windows are all locked. No one can get on or off while it's en route. It's more, more than one way to get out. What's wrong, Master? I noticed the backup control system is operating. Well, it's better that it's running. All the electricity is managed by the control system, after all. Anyway, Master, I'm bored of this place. Let's move on already. Move on because you're bored? Cars of people in a while, so maybe all alone in your house. Um, is anyone there? Don't see any people outside or cars? Watch out! The feeling of complete isolation. Tissues on the table. Maybe you can't turn down free samples when people hand them out. <laughs> oh yeah, so many reasons for why somebody would keep tissues next to the bed. Yeah. What are you implying, Stephen Gavin? She's implying audacity. What does this jacket belong to? It looks like something Aphex would wear. Say, 
Did you check the pockets? There's nothing inside. Hmm. If we don't know who it belongs to, it doesn't make a very good clue. clue. Hmm? The magazine scattered on the desk. There's a poem in the wrestling magazine. One of the hat, hot angles these days. I don't think it has anything to do with the case. Let's look somewhere else. with a little noodle on it. Wake up, Julie. Well. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. so been out for at least five minutes. She murdered the others in such a deranged way? He's got a short fuse. I think it was a crime of protection. Oh, she's a master detective for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Maybe he thought you weren't even worth killing. 
You're an incompetent guy with amnesia. That wasn't a diss, just a fact. I know. Now that we know who the culprit is, we have to find him before the train arrives. Find him and do what? Catch him, of course. All up to you, master. Yeah. That's impossible. It's fine. There's no time to waste. Nothing's fine about it. Why don't you look inside the notebook? There might be something about the case. Seems to be record of records of past cases he handled. Mm -hmm. But there isn't any information about this current case. This looks like Sange's bag. There's nothing inside that matters. Travel supplies. Nothing noteworthy. Ooh, it's out. Hey, did you to... check to see if someone's hiding nearby? Hmm. Yeah, no one's here. You sure? And what if he's hiding in the back? Even a chance so could tooth is one of my favorite parents. You don't know that. You're up against a master detective, remember? What if there's a master detective who has the appearance of a child but the mind of an adult? Of course there isn't. You sure about that? I think there's totally a detective like that out there. <laughs> detective Conan reference. This is... Some foot, at least there's some flashy foot. That's she definitely gets some looks in the city, but now she's uh, all burned up. Guess she won't be wearing it anymore. <laughs> Molly, why does she have to die? This is the pouch with the cosmetics on the desk. This must belong to Melanie. But she'll never use it again. Well? You shouldn't apply fresh makeup to makeup to fresh birds after all. Yeah. We made it through the tunnel. Which means we're almost there. At this rate, you'll let the murderer escape. <laughs> More shaking? What is it this time? Master, you gotta hurry! The next train car is the fifth one. This train has five cars in total, so this is the last one. Oh, but... It's definitely in the fifth one. You can access the fifth car, the one at the end. The door appears to be broken and won't open. The door was supposed to be broken, right? Master, you better hurry! Hey, it opened. Was it repaired? 
self repair trade technology. It's been wrecked. What happened here? Master, look over there. A dead body. No way. There can't be a fifth corpse. Because that would mean. Everyone except me is dead. So hysterical. Even I'm getting confused now. Anyway, time to investigate. Huh. Think someone's calling me, bud. Crispy critter. His necklace looks How familiar. You Thank you. How are you guys doing? Wait, it's the same one Apex was wearing. Looking at the body type of the corpse, matches the guy with the short views. His face is burns beyond recognition, but could this really be Apex? You might find it unbelievable, but it seems like it. So his cause of death was also fire? Yeah, I don't see any other external trauma. Yeah, didn't he say we were under some kind of tornado warning? It's now a severe thunderstorm warning. Ah. Wait, there's an injury on his chest. Is it a stab wound? Looks like he was pierced with a blade. If that's the case, was he stabbed? Well, that would make him the the odd one out since he was he's the only one with an external wound. No, he could have been incapacitated by the stabbing and then burned. It's impossible to determine the cause of death with what we have. Full throttle in this investigation. Good job to me for being your mentor. But why Apex? Mm. Yep, this corpse is real too. Mm. It's a setting reminder to wake you up. My apologies for falling asleep the way I did. How can you sleep when these beds are burning? <laughs> Bed in the infirmary is burnt and flipped on its side. Hmm? Why is this the only bed turned over like this? Maybe it's to hide evidence of some kind. Just a hunch. Hey, there's a fire extinguisher here. Mm -hmm. Maybe someone noticed the fire and tried to put it out. Mm hmm. I wonder. This is. Okay, uh. Knowing the clues so far, would you like to take a guess? Huh. 
anything look familiar to you? It seems to be a whole mirror. So like... Huh? What's this? What is it? Did you find something? The interior lock is open right now, but there's something odd about the latch. Uh, yeah, the, the latch was locked from the outside. Look, there appears to be blood on it. Uh, it was locked from the inside. How could anyone have gotten in? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Let me try to slide it. Well, this one was uh, already open. That's a blood stain, oh right? wow! But it's blue. It, mm -hmm. it seems the blood got on there while the door was locked. That's evidence of something for sure. No harm keeping it in mind. <laughs> sure, hope you got all that down. Mystery about the restroom is in terrible shape. The mirror is cracked in the person, but terror cards are in place. What? It's there seems to be ice patches like colder weather or climates. Or like the spray you get from a fire extinguisher. Like somebody took pains to make sure the car plate was burnt. It says main control room A. It's no use. It won't open. There's a driver's seat in there, but I don't see anyone. The autonomous driving device is there, but not on. We are approaching Connick. Please mind your belongings. Master, we are almost at the station. You have to catch the culprit. Mm. Catch who? 
Who? Everyone besides me is dead. Are you sure it's everyone? Calm down. Count again. Message in car one. Melanie in car two. Poochie in car three. Zonga in car four. And Apex in car five. See? That's five. Everyone besides me is dead. That makes you the only possible killer master. Did he do it? That's not possible. But I can't say for certain. I lost my memories, and now I'm seeing a death god. There's something um, wrong with me. Death gods are born to be a hex king. Yeah. Because I'm being haunted by one. Maybe subconsciously. I. We are approaching Kano. Please watch your step while exiting the train. Mm. Oh. It looks like the. How bad she goes. Well, you think you a complete dog. Somebody call for a quick time event? <laughs> yeah. Suspicious that they're already after me. Right out the gate. Oh! Mm -hmm. I was in there with five suits. It's fat evil. The name's Swank Katsunel. I'm with the Amaterasu Corporation's peacekeepers. And his teeth say money. That's just how swanky he is. A 
Amaterasu Corporation Peace Keepers? Both the Yen Sun Don't and the Dollar Sun oh, that was done. You're a WBO detective for crying out loud. Or are you some sort of imposter? No, it's I'm not. not shaped in the sign of cash and you. You think? Well, I don't care on the way. Side of the What's about to happen has already been decided. Which is? The peacekeepers are the defenders of law and executioners in Kanai War. The unjust wander into my space. They will be eliminated. Eliminated? Hey, isn't Kanai Ward under the complete control of Amaterasu? Meaning, these people are like the police here. Uh, police? But it's uh, just some uh, company uh, security uh, department. Uh, uh, hey, uh, who are you talking to? Alright! You're the only one who can see me, thanks to our contract, Master. It's a bit cliche at this point, huh? <laughs> Don't laugh, help me! I'll ask again. Who do you think you're talking to, huh? Talk about suspicious. I'm sorry. Tell me how you're gonna explain this situation. We prepared that. Welcome you all here. But an internal fight sprawling into a bloodbath was unexpected. It, it's not what it looks like. There's a perfectly logical explanation behind this. You're the culprit. Huh? Well, that was direct. Master, try your best to beat him. No, I really Please don't know anything. Be in the marketplace of ideas. Uh, yeah. I don't think so. While the other detectives were asleep, to feed them with the facts and logic. There's proof. There's the copy and why. What the? We found coffee and wine in the dining room. When you checked the second car earlier, I had a subordinate drinking. You can see what happened. Looks like some sort of knockout drug was mixed into it. Drug? Which means you drugged the other detectives and killed them while they were passed out. Wow, he may just be a lowly grunt, but he knows his stuff. He could be trouble. Why do you sound so impressed? So did you figure out the cause of death? Yes, they all burned to death. Huh? All of them? How cruel of you to kill them like that. What's your end? Or is it money? If it's money, hand over everything you swipe. I promise I'll show mercy to your wallet. He just wants money. That's no fair. I'm not the culprit. Yes, you are. You're the culprit. No, I... I'm not the perpetrator, but do I know that for sure? In this situation, who else besides me could have done it? There were without a doubt only six people on the train, and five of them were killed. So the only possibility is... Just admit it! I know you're the culprit! What am I supposed to do? Admit it now! You're guilty! The corner like am Captain I Bear we are. The killer? Come on, confess! <sighs> Maybe it's better if I confess for now. It could be better to get through this now and 
and get some time to think about it. Why confess if you didn't do it? Master, you're an idiot! Don't both kill you! Huh? You heard me? I didn't say it out loud. There you go again, talking to yourself. Must be crazy or something. I hear your thoughts, too. I told you we share the same mind and body. Anyway, never mind that. Why are you giving up already? Well, there's nothing I can do. Wrong. The mystery solving has just begun. Why did you make a contract with me to begin with? Huh? What do you mean? Stop talking to yourself, you unstable psycho! Bring him down, men! Confiscate anything of value he has while you're at it. <laughs> oh, don't sound so pitiful! I'll show you what I'm made of right now! Come on, master! Yep, yep. Magical girl happening on screen. Yeah, missed it. Sleepy head. What is this? What's happening? As you can see, Shin Megami can move mm -hmm. and stop time. Pixel can sleep and it stops time. What's this? What's going on? <laughs> Who are you? What do you mean? I've been with you the entire time. Wait. You're Shinigami? Oh, right. Guess you can't tell because I'm not puppy anymore. Oh. I can only access the mystery labyrinth if I'm at full power, so I had to change forms. But some parts of me are still nice and puppy. <laughs> it's true. Wanna touch? <laughs> Uh, I okay. Anyway, what's going on? It's like time has stopped. And what's that hole? That hole is connected to the mystery labyrinth. Mystery labyrinth? You'll find out when you enter. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Wait, you have to tell me. What's a mystery labyrinth? the light before we could even get to the first save point. Yeah, we're gonna end it here. Pixel. Yes, yes, yes. Off. Oh. This is Pixel Cheesecake and I believe we're signing off. Yep. However, Oh yeah. So you could sleep at once we got to a save point. Oh yeah. That's what working an online retailer does to you. You don't take care of your body, it's gonna kneecap you in during your hobby time. Which I was pretty sure I was good. Thanks a lot, body. Gonna have to make sure you get a uh, 
more hours before we start recording, more sleeping hours before we start recording. I've been Shella, and I'll see you next time. And I've been Pixel Cheesecake. Thank you for tuning in to this wonderful gaming with Shella, where I've been a complete and total dumbass, and I owe him big time. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.